Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue the, the previous problem. Here, we discussed one method. In this, we have six number of poles are connected in lap winding. And if the same are connected in wave winding, what is the armature resistance? That we already find out with a normal processor. And we have the another method. In that another method, we can find out very simple method that is very easy and useful. Here the another method is to find out the relation between the lap winding and the wave winding. We have a one thing that is copper losses in both the windings are same. Copper losses in lap and wave winding is same. Because same power it will be generated are same. The reason is it consisting of the same power of both lap winding and the wave winding. So by using that phenomena we can find out very easily. So copper losses in lap winding here current lap winding current square into armature in lap winding equal to wave winding current square into armature resistance in the wave winding. So by this we can find out the that is RAW by RAL wave winding resist armature resistance by lap winding armature resistance equal we can write that is the reverse case that is it is inversely proportional that means we will get w so we will get here the lap winding current and here the wave winding square both will be the squares okay and you know already there is a relation is reverse relation for this lap winding and the wave winding that's why we can write parallel paths in parallel paths in lap winding parallel paths in lap winding by parallel paths in wave winding both are same both are same so by using that we can find out simply the armature resistance in wave winding by armature resistance in lap winding equal so generally we have number of poles are 6 so lap winding parallel paths are 6 in wave winding we have the parallel paths are 2 in the wave winding we have the parallel paths are 2 so this is the lap and this is the wave so here the lap winding equal 6 by 2 6 by 2 whole square 6 by 2 whole square and army so you know that the lap winding resistance already given that value is 0 0.06 they substitute the things we will get wave winding armature resistance by 0 0.06 will be equal 3 square so by this we can find out wave winding armature resistance equal to, wave winding armature resistance equal to 0 0.06 this value into this this value is the 9 so the wave winding armature resistance we can write 0.54 ohms 0.54 ohms so this is the very simple method this is somewhat a lengthy method but it is very simple method okay yeah next problem here the problem is a four pole lab wound dc generator has developed power of three watts so he given number of poles is four and it is a lap winding that's why number of parallel paths equal to four for so it generates the power it will give the output power is the three watts and it will give the brush voltage voltage across brush is also brush voltage is the ev brush voltage already given 
voltage across brush brush voltage we can name it that value is the e if one of the brush is removed as it want out so if the machine is operating with remaining brushes then what is the brush voltage what is the brush voltage so for that case we should design the number of poles and the sum case so just take it assume that we have the number of poles are four poles we have that four poles are like this this is the one pole and this is the second pole and this is the third pole and this is the fourth pole these are the number of poles are four available so just better to take some outside here so these are the poles so generally we have the winding is like this we have winding just take winding this is the winding just take it as a winding okay and we have number of poles poles are four poles this is from this is from like this this is from we have number of poles four just we can take any pole no problem at all but just take it the brushes just take this is the brush one this is the brush one and this is the brush two and this is the brush three and this is the brush four we have the four brushes just take it this is the brush this is the negative brush and this is the positive brush and this is the negative brush okay and it is a generator that's why he given dc generator so each bus each brush will generate some power which 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 generates some power like this okay and we have the negative is there here also negative and here we have some negative terminal this is also the negative terminal and this is a positive terminal okay so positive terminals are combined together and negative terminals are combined together this is also a positive terminal just combine these positive terminals so this is the complete positive terminal and these two are the negative terminals just combine these negative terminals combine these negative terminals okay simply so it will be combined together then what happen actually we will get brush voltage is we will get the it develops the brush voltage is e volts between the two brushes okay and it will generate some power that power is from the two brushes so it will be plus plus means plus terminal brush will be enters plus terminal brush will be enters and negative terminal brush will be so assume that some current some current will be entered here from the negative terminal some current will be entered here this current will be ia by 2 and this current will be ia by 2 these both currents will be combined it will generate the ia current the same ia current will be supplied to this this is one current and this is one current this is the ia current this ia current will be ia by 2 current will be entered here and ia by 2 current will be entered here okay so that's why for positive terminal ia by 2 current will be entered that means at this point the current is ia by 4 at this point also the current is ia by 4 and it will it will take here also positive terminal positive terminal means the current will be entered ia by 4 the current will be entered ia by 4 these are the ia by 4 and this is also the ia by 4 okay yes so this current will be taken this ia by 4 current will be taken that's why simply i can give some conclusion that is if you observe here you observe the diagram the diagram is like this so we have the four brushes this is the brush one 
and this is the brush tool and this is the some brush here also we have the brushes brushes are there here if it just take it these two are the positive brushes if it is the positive brushes and it will generate the some currents that is IA by 4 and the IA by 4 here also the brush IA by 4 and here the brush is IA by 4 understand here what happened here one is the negative terminal and another one is the negative terminal okay if one brush is want out for example if brush is open this brush is open then what happen some IA by 4 current will not come here IA by 4 current will not come here and IA by 4 current will come not will not come here that means only one current will come that is from a brush IA by 4 current will come from this brush this negative brush some IA by 4 current will be come so both will be combined together and it will generate IA by 2 current but what about the voltage we have two brushes this brush between plus and minus already we have the voltage of E so current will only become IA by 2 but the voltage will become same so we can write that is if one brush is removed if one brush is removed then there is no change in voltage the new voltage value e dash equal to e why there is no change in voltage both we have at least two brushes one plus brush and one minus brush the emf will be the same but what about current current value ia dash equal to ia by 2 ia dash equal to ia by 2 okay therefore the power generated will be taken like this the new power p dash equal to voltage into current the new current new voltage is ia dash new current is sorry e dash and i dash then the current equal to e into ia by 2 so the new power equal to previous power by 2 so by this power will become half of the power the new power will be half of the power if one brush is removed from the machine then there is no change in voltage but the current value will become half and the power will be same okay so this is the this is the problem two problems regarding the session okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you